Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we are gonna randomize our characters and see who we get. Let's give it a go. Um, we get Maggie. Okay, nice. Not a particularly difficult one, but there is some spiciness we can do off the bat of the game if we get a, uh, what's it called room, if we get a, a sacrifice room. And I will still give that a go. I will still give that a go. Having the full health pill and stuff means that there's possibilities. Oh god, interesting room design. I, th I, th I don't- I think the reason that was <laughs> like that is I don't think they were meant to be movable barrels. It's meant to be that you like kill them then release the ghost and one of them was just a movable barrel. That's pretty funny. But anyways, good old Maggie to kick things off on our third, um, what, 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 blah, blah, blah. what will be our fourth win, but we're currently on a three streak. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. As for the question of the day today, What's something that you, like, are really, really into that you really ought to think more people should discover? Like, a hobby that you have, or videos that you watch, or something. Uh, what's, what's something that, like, you've really gotten into recently that you think isn't really, sort of, spoken about enough, or isn't really seen as, in, as important as it probably you think it is? For me, it's definitely been running. I, I really, really enjoy running. And I know it's obvious, like, running's healthy for you. It's not, like, a revelation that running is good for you or anything. But, like, I was originally just doing it to get healthy, but it, it really helped my mood and everything. It, it it just, it helped with a lot of things. It wasn't just a, this is just to get healthy sort of thing. There was many other reasons I think it was useful, and it was a good way to, like, de-stress and stuff. Um, but I, th I reckon a lot of you guys have some... Particular hobbies or interests like that. Oh, that was weird. I got a really big lag spike on killing that guy. Anything in the console? No? Weird. Very strange. So we don't unfortunately have a sacrifice room in the first floor, but that doesn't mean we can't use one on future floors if we uh, if we get like a soul heart available or something next floor. More bombs definitely means I'll try and find the secret room. Old dice here is pretty interesting. Old dice is pretty good. Right, we'll, we'll go in here first and then use Yum Heart to escape. Um, honestly, I should be taking these pennies as well, just because we've got very little money right now. It's not really much harm to us to do so. We've gained, we gained nothing out of that. We lost one cent out of that. Great. I will take said pill as well. Balls of steel, not bad, not bad. Okay, health is in a good spot. Right, this is a tricky one, because all dice is very good. Upon use, rerolls the current item being picked up into a random passive. Basically, it will reroll stuff that we pick up into something completely random. Works with actives as well. The problem is we could reroll into a really bad item, but I think it's worth it regardless. Um, a two room charge uh, reroll for potentially like really bad items that we could get, I think is pretty good. The fact that it works on actives too is just the cherry on top. Um, I can't remember how exactly you use it on actives now. If I uh, take a look, I think it does say um, oh, hello. Didn't expect you to be here. But health is looking really good right now. Yeah, if we go like this. Um, if dropped to pick up another active can be used while you are picking up the active. Yeah, exactly. Which I don't even know how the coder achieved that. Like, that seems like a really interesting way of doing things. Secret room is unveiled to us. And it's a crawl space as well. Could be rather good. Um, an item that I, ha I do not recognize here. Uh, and this is a particularly sort of spicy room here. I'm probably going to take some damage here. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably going to take some, some fat damage here. Ah! You've got to kind of go over. Wanted dead. Blood money. So, no idea. No idea what that does. That's definitely from the... Um, from the, the pack that we're using at the minute. What the hell is it called? The the community remix. I don't know when they're going to get EID descriptions, but I hope it's soon. Um, yeah, I don't know what this item's doing for us. I have absolutely no idea, but considering it's money based and stuff, I, I can't imagine it's bad. Now, this is kind of a weird room here because... Bad hit there. Kind of a weird room here because um, there's all these bombable, like destroyable um, chests, but I, I don't actually know if there's any particular way to get to him without having used a bomb, which isn't ideal. 
Um, quite a lot of money there. I'm gonna bomb this one just in case it's a an Algis. Not an Algis. Okay, it's not the one I thought it'd be, but it's it's good. It's very good, in fact. Didn't realize there was a rock for this. Oh my god, it just keeps going, man. This is nuts. That's insane. I got 49 cent out of that. What the hell? <laughs> okay, well, that's. Uh, I'm very glad I bombed that because that was uh, pretty darn useful. And we get a uh, bag of jewels. Okay, we definitely want Greed's Butt. Greed's Butt is mwah, chef's kiss. When being hit by an enemy projectile, you fart, launching out a coin. 5% um, chance that you drop a golden poop instead. Um, recharge by taking coins. Basically, this is a slightly better version. So let's let's pick this up and re-roll it. And we got that. Okay, nice. Seems to re-roll into the same pool, maybe. Um, basically, this is a slightly better version of um, of Dumpy. It's real good. It's real good. Uh, in terms of having a, like, trying to be safe on a streak, really, really good. But yeah, very, 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 very good start to the run. Like, that, that little coin thing there, exquisite. I still don't exactly know what our little blood money thing that we got does. Um, I'm unsure, unfortunately. Um, soul heart there's very nice. Yeah, I'm unsure, unfortunately, what that exactly does. Um, and we're, we're not really going to be able to know unless we see its effect happen. Um, which is a shame. That's the only problem with the remix at the moment. But yeah, there you go, you see. And then, as we collect coins, it refills. That's the only thing that's worse about it than Dumpy. Is that, um... It will take a little bit to recharge because you have to pick up coins. But the, the, the better thing about it, like why I think it's better than Dumpy, is because any damage you take, it blocks. Whereas Dumpy can sometimes let hits through. Whereas this is like, no matter what, it will always, always save you from damage. Which is very nice. Unfortunately, we are lacking in keys right now. There's also quite the horrible room right here. In terms of the amount of enemies that we're facing. Unfortunately, quite a lot of them are going headless as well, which I don't like. But, luckily, the room is designed in such a way that the enemies aren't gonna do what this guy did, actually, and filter back around to us. I was expecting that not, not to happen, but apparently, one of them got through. Apparently, a consequence of having high shot speed has given us crazy good knockback. I don't know if that's, like, a regular thing with this item, or if that's just because of the shot speed, but our knockback seems extremely high right now, which is pretty useful. Keeps enemies away from us while we recharge our butt. Or we refill our butt with coins. I'm hoping we can get a key here. Unfortunately not. Um, I believe the item that I got last, the 2 plus 1 thing that I've got, I believe that is um, going to give us... I believe that's going to give us a third item for free in the shop or devil deal. So every, if we buy two devil deals, the third won't be free. If we buy two shop items, the third won't be free. Stuff like that. Uh, which isn't always that useful, especially if we end up going angel. Which I'm actually not... 100% sure if I'm going to do Angel or Devil yet. I mean, Devil's definitely tempting because our health is so good. Um, I am more tempted by Devil right now. You can see our butt is halfway filled. Dude, this is getting a little annoying. Okay, don't particularly like these geezers. Okay, managed to bomb him. Very nice. Look, look at that knockback, man. It's insane. Hey, we got at least one key. We got at least one key. We can open that up and get some bombs and a key. Um, right. I'm going to do my other rooms before I spend my key just to decide what I want to do. Because shop is also pretty valuable to us here. But we, we don't have to make that decision if we end up getting an additional key. So I'd rather not fret about it until we know we need to fret about it. Look, look at that. <laughs> oh my lord. What is happening to the knockback right now? It's insane. There you go. See, we don't even have to worry about it now. We just got two keys. No need to think about what we're going to do, because we can just go for it. So, shop first. We'll see if we, what we get in here. Um, we got this, which I think I'll actually just take. I think plus damage, a uh, little bit of range. Stuff is good. And then there you go. There you go. It's not free, actually, but very cheap. So, we'll buy the additional key there. In fact, I think what I should have done is left that and then gone into the devil deal. I think it would have made them cheaper. I don't, I don't exactly know. This is a shame, this. I didn't expect that. Um, have I filled my donation machine at all in this? I have. Only lightly, so this isn't going to give us much. I do need to constantly be refilling that. 
I really ought to just cheat and fill it all the way up so we've got it available, because that, that's kind of what you do on streaks in terms of having the donation machine ready. Obviously, Smart Fly isn't great, so we'll try and reroll past it. These were very, very, very strong last time, so I'm going to take them. Um, these do double damage to bosses, as well as a few other things, I think. But they def I definitely know they do double damage to bosses, and um, that, that proved to be extremely, extremely useful last time. So I'm going to take that on the nose and uh, give it a go. We've not got a crazy ton of bombs right now, so it's not, like, amazing, amazing. But it's still useful. We did, in fact, get a sack room here, but I think it's a little bit late now. Um, we'd have to spend quite a lot of soul hearts for that to be valuable. Kind of tempted to go for the spicy key, but I don't think it's worth it, considering we do already have one key. If I had zero, then I'd go for it, but I'd need a key to get in there anyways, so not, not the best trade. If it was a triple spicy key, then yes, I'd take it. Half a heart for three keys is, is a pretty decent trade. Okay. Good, good. Not going to go for the cash room at this stage. I think so trading soul heart health for cash room is just... It, it can be valuable, but really I only do it if I have like an excess. Good, good. A lot more money. Our greed's butt is filled up again. You can tell when it's full because it starts doing little trumps, little farts. All right, anyways. Let's go ahead and do our boss. So if we, t if we do this here... You see, look, it just insta-killed him. Don't know why the bosses are all dropping money. Oh, wait. Maybe that's what our item does. Because the other boss dropped money as well. Maybe it's all bosses drop money, which is very, very, very good, if that's the case. If this one drops money as well, then we know for sure that's our, that's our item. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. So this is an item that I will re-roll. Uh, I'm going to go in here first and check this out. Um, definitely going to take this. My shadow's good, but it's a little hard to use. I'm just going to take this for now. And then this I'm going to take and re-roll. And we get the roll of coins. Amazing. Back up to a, an amazing amount of money here. Money is just not a, not a concern at all for us. Um, Soul Reaper here. I decided to go Devil Dealers because we have good HP. Um, and Soul Reaper here basically... Just when we kill enemies, they drop souls, and he can give us stuff for those souls. And he can give you quite a lot of stuff, actually. He's, uh, he's, he can be pretty lucrative. Shop disc. I got a bit of damage out of that. Nice. You can see him taking the souls there. He can give cards, he can give runes, and I think he can give black hearts. I don't remember the totality of what he can give, to be honest. Um, but he, he's got quite a lot of things in his repertoire that he can... That he can give to us. He does require a fair amount of souls to pay out. But that's because what he pays out with is pretty good. So I think it's only fair. And look, stuff like this is good as well. Where there's like a ton of smaller enemies. They give you a bunch of souls. And there you go. He gave us a burn fragment. And a... Oh, uh, wait. Is, is, are these wisps from him? Or are that from our roll of pennies? Maybe the wisps are from him as well. And he's been paying out with wisps. But I haven't noticed. Yeah, he is He is paying out with wisps. So actually, actually, for smaller payouts like this. He doesn't actually require much. And... Getting wisps is really nice, so he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Right, what we got in here? Oh, my lord. Just, just want to give us the win. <laughs> the game's like, hey, you're on a streak, I see. Here's quite a lot of very, very good runs. Also, slight uh, visual thing with the C-section babies not being babies and just being, uh, just being the balls of light here, but eh, it's only visual. But yeah, C-section, you can't complain when you get C-section in an item room. I mean, unless something goes horrifically wrong with like a reroll or something, I just don't see any way that this isn't a win. Uh, which may be a little bit dull for the streak. Obviously, can't people kind of want to see um, see the struggles on streaks and where we have sort of bad runs that can cause us issues. But the, the, re realistically, the streak's not going to get super interesting in terms of the actual streak counter until we get into the sort of like 10s or 15s. Then it's going to be like, okay, we've really got to knuckle down and try hard to make sure we get these wins. Um, these early runs is actually kind of nice to be able to breeze through and get some easy wins so that we can get to the more interesting parts of the uh, of the streak. But how, that's another thing as well. How are you guys enjoying the split series at the moment, having three separate Isaac series? Um, they all seem to be doing uh, decent view-wise. I don't think I've dropped off any views. In fact, I've gained uh, gained a little bit. 
Um, and it's, it's nice to have, like, three separate series going, especially the modded character one. I think people are always, always asking for more modded characters. Um, and this is a good way of doing that. Let's go back to our shop real quick. I don't know why I decided to gloss over the shop, to be honest. But yeah, Wisps plus Burn Fragments plus Greed's Butt. We're, we're very defensible right now, so that's good. Uh, I will take that. Thank you. Uh, I'll buy the Soul Heart. And I'm going to... I'm going to leave that in and see if the devil deal works the way I think it does with our third purchase. And I'll go back for the shop and reroll the keeper's box, if not. So this guy should drop us money as well. I, I really actually like this item if, it, if uh, all bosses drop money. I wonder if it counts for bosses in rooms or it's only bosses in boss rooms. If it counts for bosses in rooms as well, you could get stacked in the later floors. Not that you need the money, but... What the... Like, actually, what the hell? Actually, what the hell? Uh, we did get a devil deal, so we'll, we'll check this out and see if it's cheaper. Doesn't look to be any cheaper. I can't remember what these items do, to be honest. Let's have a little look-see. Orbiting fireballs periodically spawn around the player. Um, up to three. Double tap to shoot them, leaving a trail and exploding in contact. That seems decent enough. We'll take that. And we'll keep our other heart. Um, and let's go and grab that other item and reroll it. But yeah. Getting three dimes? Oh my goodness. That's that's quite an insane haul. And this still costs one, yeah. And then we can re-roll it. Oh, we got a sharp plug. Meh. Not going to use it, but it is what it is. Right. Continuing on down. We could probably do boss rush on this run, or even hush if we, if we wanted to. Our health isn't, like, insane insane right now. We could definitely do with more. But really, our health is quite heavily augmented by the fact that we have all these wisps and burn fragments and greeds. But, like, our health doesn't need to be anywhere near as high. So we'll see if these guys drop coins. I imagine anything with a health bar will. What the hell is that thing that you've spawned? Yes, they did. Oh my god, the amount of money is insane. So many dimes! What's going on? We also got Apple of Pride, which boosts our stats. And we're getting um, a lot of these Brother Bobby dudes from our trinket, which is quite nice. But yeah, extra stats until we next get hit, which hopefully could be a little while considering the defense that we have. We might be okay here. Hey, first burn heart payout from this guy. It's very, very nice. One of the better payouts he can, uh, he can give us. These guys are quite hard to hit, considering... The knockback on them is kind of funny. Yeah, with C-section, these guys are actually really, really hard to hit. Because I don't have the charge up time to, to properly, uh... Properly hit them. What? What? This is so confusing. They keep hitting him and knocking him back really far. Where is it? Okay, that was... Those enemies were horrible. In fact, there's still one up here in the corner that I never killed that it just doesn't care about. There you go. <laughs> the game just didn't... Didn't care about that one. Dude, I don't need more money. This is insane. The amount of Brother Bobbies that we've got on our tail right now is... Uh, it's reached critical mass, I think. Ah, uh, I got hit and lost my apple. That was an explosion that hit me. Fair play. I mean, we're up to 99 at the minute. This is kind of ludicrous. We'll pop that open and crack this open and see what it gives. I did spend a key on that heart back there. Ooh, more pennies. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know if anyone's ever had this many Brother Bobbies with this trinket before. This is an insane amount. The fragile Bobbies. We could use a little bit more damage, definitely. Uh, just so killing goes by a bit quicker, but when it's not necessary... Small skull appear in each room, picking up the skull will grant you a temporary familiar that copies your tiers and stats while the familiar expires, the skull respawn. Okay. Or we could transform that into one of the items we already have. What Out of the items we already have, what would we actually want? Because there's not many, like, there's, there's a few of these that would be terrible. I'd love another Greed's Butt. Um, I'd love another um, Soul Reaper if it works. I'd love another stat upgrade. And I think, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to stick the land in and take this. Stick the landing doesn't really work as an expression in that in that regard, does it? It says it fires my tears exactly, but he doesn't have C-section, so... Does he really fire my tears exactly? No, he does not. 
Ah, we've already been to the secret room. I'm, I'm stupid. Um, we will re-roll that into a hey, the clicker. Lovely. Um, and we'll try and get too much. Yeah, do you know what? I said try and get too much matches. We'll just do this. Evil sticker. Evil sticker isn't great because now we've got these guys. Uh, now, uh, yeah, now we've got a bunch of thingy coins, which isn't ideal. Cursed coins. Which wasn't really what I was looking for. Yeah, I'd probably rather have re-rolled this guy with loaded dice, to be honest. We've got a card pack here. Lovely. Doubles our number of keys. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just use that. I'm just, just going to take the two keys. King of Diamond. I've not been using my fireballs. I'm stupid. I should be using them as much as I can. Okay, let me just exit the room and re-enter this one to actually see what is Fool's Gold Rocks and what isn't. I'm sure there's a few areas where there's quite a few of them. Not that I need to blow them up at all. I mean, we are well enough off as it is. There's not actually a lot that are grouped up. We'll take this because why not? But the amount of bobbies is exquisite. It's beautiful. Oh, hello. I will check this out. Um, reflected, which is interesting. Instead of receiving items after boss fights, you gain a, pl a permanent um, flat damage boost. This is tricky. First of all, let's just take a hit just to see what happens. I wonder if having two of them gives us 1.6 damage. I'm going to gamble on this and hope it gives me it twice. Oh, I can't take it twice. Damn. Might be a mistake. That might be a mistake. We'll see, we'll see. The damage boost is good, but I was, I was really banking on being able to get the damage boost twice. Uh, have we been to item room this floor? Yes, because we got the, um... We got the little forgotten dude, didn't we? Dice bag. Kind of interesting. A burn heart back there as well. Just because I was thinking taking of that because we need damage anyways. That's our damage boost. Kind of what I was hoping for actually. Ah, spicy key I walked into didn't mean to there. I will take that and re-roll it into Sinister Sight, which I have very little idea what it does, but it's made our tears purple. So, maybe it's going to give us Herming or something? I'm unsure. Anyhow, we keep going. I don't think this runs at any risk right now, even without boss items. Yeah, I'm going to say the choice between boss items versus getting straight damage is, is definitely a difficult one, because I think if you've got enough health, the damage is probably better, and I feel like we do. Especially considering we've got regenerable burn hearts, essentially. We've got a way of getting burn hearts pretty reliably. We did get a fire rate boost from Sinister Sight, which is very, very nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure what else it does. I don't think we uh Nah, we don't we don't get to know, unfortunately, it has no EID description. More cursed pennies, we're gonna be seeing a lot of those. I ought to be trying to collect this when I can. It's just, it's a little, little bit depressing that unfortunately it doesn't fire C-section shots on like, like, like the item description said it would, but eh, it is what it is. We will indeed crack this open, but we are, we are in a very good spot for this run. This run's very nice. Even our brother Bobbies are really good because they're defending us from shots coming in. We've got some sort of moon fragment thing going on here. Meteorite. It's, yeah. Meteorites will periodically fall from the sky. Um, I think I want to take that, you know. I, I, my, my fragile bobbies, you have been the best of children that I could ever ask for. But I think I want to start anew and have meteors fall down on my enemies. 
because that seems fun. And I'm guessing it'll destroy rocks as well, which is certainly not a bad thing. Unless it's an explosive rock and it hurts me, in which case it's a very bad thing, but the chances of that happening, pretty unlikely. Well, it probably will happen, but the chances of it happening and it hurting me are pretty unlikely. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the burn the the soul collector dude maybe is a bit overtuned in just in terms of like the the sheer amount of payouts he's giving us like the amount of burn we've just had this constant suite of burn fragments that just never seems to dissipate um, and that might be due, partially due to our fragile bobbies and stuff but I think it's just because he's quite strong and he's just paying out in just a few souls hey we did get this which is kind of nice. We could have some meteorites fall on this. Yeah, we got one. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave you be and, and try and try and let this play it, play itself out with the uh, with the meteorites. There's another one. And there you go, baby. No bombs used. Free ghost, baby. That's what we like to see. Nice. That was pretty good. We got quite a lot of HP now as well. This is what I mean for Devil Deal. This is why I took it because. I just felt with the defense options that we have, even if we took a lot of damage, we'd be, we'd be in a good spot for HP regardless. And we, we most certainly are. Meteorite, do you want to fall on that rock? No. Got ourselves a cracked key here. Don't know where best to use it. I'm just going to use it here. Oh, it does work on every single... Oh, man, that's so insanely overpowered. Oh my goodness, that is very, very overpowered in that scenario there. Holy. That is quite overpowered. Diffuse. Diffuse. We did get a cracked key here, actually. A second chance. There's a token in here now. Unexpected. This is just just nuts. Do you hold for a shop? We will take that. Shouldn't be taking those when I have good HP, you know. It's not worth it. But yeah, we've got a ton of money in here that we've got very little to actually use it on, which is a shame. I guess we'll just leave it all there in case. In case of what? I guess what I should do realistically is I should go and grab my um, my fragile bobby trinket and go and just gather up some children. At least then we're not completely wasting the opportunity of having stuff on the floor. I doubt I'm going to use any of the rest of this money on this floor. The cold. I'm guessing that freezes enemies or something. Right, give me my meaty meteorites back. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird with modded eyes, like, especially with like, Fiend Folion and stuff, because like, in a lot of ways the game is definitely harder, but also stuff like this can happen where the game is definitely easier just due to the balance of certain items being off. And I, I wouldn't even particularly say that that money item is unbalanced. Like, I, I agree with the fact that it probably should give you money for every boss killed. But what I would say is the money you gain should probably scale with the HP of the boss that you killed. I think as it currently sits, having it be a flat, what seemingly is flat rate of a, like a random amount of money that equals a certain amount, um, it, 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 it leads to some pretty messed up situations with multi-tier bosses. But I, I, I would expect the devs probably know about and just were like, ah, it's fine. But I would say even for a quality 3 item, it probably shouldn't be quite as good as it is in that scenario. Because Terra Terma and stuff, they do show up in, in random rooms quite a lot. It's not completely uncommon. And I mean, it seems like you get a dime every single time. I don't know if that's intentional, but you get a lot of dimes. Maybe it's like you get so many random coins, but the value of... Like, we didn't get a dime there, but we got 10 cent again. 
check this out. We've, we've been doing really well with Devil Deals. Ooh. Um, actual real bag of bobbies uh, to go along with these. And Guppy's hairball, I don't think really is super useful for us. I'm not going to take it. We'll carry on down. But yeah, just just to make sure the army of fragile bobbies never dies, we'll uh, we'll grab grab our bag of bobbies just to add to the uh, the chaos. Just to add a little bit to the chaos. I do like our luminary flare boy that we've got in the middle of the room as well. He's pretty useful. Treasure disc here. Did get a snake in there. Nice. I also like that he's like an actual dude. It's not just like a son. It's like a son with a face. He's like a guy. Secret room unexpected here. Um, I think I'll go for this. Reveals the ultra secret room. 33% chance to spawn a crack key upon using a sacrifice room. Spawns a crack key on pickup. So we definitely get a cracked key usage this floor, which is good. And I think I'm going to pick this up and re-roll it and see what we get. Uh, Fistful of Ash. Fistful of Ash is kind of a weird one. I believe we gain a broken heart every floor, but just destroying Tinted Rocks gives us um, gives us a tier rate up and has a chance to remove a broken heart. It's one of those items that's got it's got some downsides, but it can be pretty strong. Especially the tiers up that it gives is, uh, is pretty hefty. Now, I, I do believe it makes Tinted Rocks more common on top of that as well. So we just have to keep our eyes peeled. Item room is going to be Bird Cage, which I think I'll re-roll. And we get Parasitoid. Hell yes. I don't know when, like, what triggers Luminary Fred going off. What we get here, 25% chance to take, enter Berserker when taking damage while the state. Every enemy has a 70 point chance for your race for us to run. I think I'm going to re-roll that. Just Berserk, I don't really care for. And it would kind of annoy me if I got it on hit. Like, well, these guys, look, are going to drop. Yeah, okay, so that's a, that's an actually fair amount of money there. That worked. Horror Babylon, never going to be active, but good item nonetheless. Reverse Emperor. Later stage boss, why not? Parasitoid doing absolute work here. And we got ourselves damage. I was like, where the hell's that item? Yeah, we got damage. That was actually pretty good to do, to be honest. Right. I like runs like this where you get something really powerful like this old dice and it's not even what it's not even the item that makes your run great I uh, do you know re-rolling that uh, secret room item was so dangerous because I could have so easily got on like TM trainer or um, or Missing no or something like that that could have completely just destroyed the run TM trainer not so much because we could just not take any items, but you know, you know, that's not what I do, right? You know, I'd take the items, but um having a full run re-roll every floor Realistically, could have put us in a bad spot. Then in here, we've got map, which I think I'll just take. Soul heart, which I'll take. Actually, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, if we unlock this and we get you to pay out with whatever you pay out with HP or whatnot, we can then reroll it. We don't need the money uh, past. This floor, yeah. So we take this and then we re-roll it into Broken Murdom. It's an item I haven't seen in a long, long time. That's a, a daily unlock. It's not We've not had it on the save file for a long time, but pretty good item. Pretty good item. Now I've got this here, Queen of Hearts. Really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll see. Tinted rock there. See, look. Oh, it's a damage up it gives. I thought it was a tears up. Okay, apparently it's a damage up. But anyways. We are in a good spot. Look at the amount of money, man. It's insane. 
absolutely insane. Turn all... Ooh. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, let's give that... And then just get up to full money just in case and then... Some extra keys. Why not? Might not need them all, but... What the hell? No harm to us. Cool. Down we go. So yeah, we'll, you'll see here that we gain a broken heart, which is pretty bad. Um, but we should realistically have a pretty good chance of finding a tinted rock on this floor and removing it. Now, I think it's only a 50% chance to remove it, so it's not like a guarantee. Just because we find a tinted rock doesn't mean we are going to remove it. And we do only have a few floors left, so even if worst case scenario comes, we, should, we shouldn't we should die to this. It shouldn't, like, kill us or anything. You get it really early, you can get very unlucky, but... Look at that! One boss drop in 25 cent is absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> Like a room boss, like not even a boss room boss. Crazy stuff. I mean, th this guy's the the real money maker. Kind of wish I'd kept my fragile bobbies now, like doing us pretty well. Right, there's a tinted rock there. There you go, that removed our broken heart. As long as you get one broken heart removed per floor, you're staying at, like, status quo. You're staying the same. Right, boss is clearly up here. We don't have a sack room, um, so we can't try and get uh, crack keys. There's only a 33% chance per play anyways, which I think is a bit of a risk for us right now. Imp Implosion isn't really what we need right now. We've already got fireballs that we're not using. We don't need any more. <laughs> My god. This item's insane. Definitely needs a bit of tweaking. There's, there's, there's literally no way you're not getting to 99 cent by like halfway through the run. That's another synth rock there. I believe, as you can see there, one of the things that this item also does is it uses other textures from other floors for the tinted rocks, which me makes them stand out a lot, lot more. So as you can see, this is a hush floor synth rock right there. Flight, I will take flight. Good, good. Devil deal, what do you have for me? Uh, Bloody Harvest. I will take this and re-roll it into Little Minx. Little Minx is fine by me. Pawns a pickup that surrounds by spikes. Which, uh, yeah, not really that great for us. Um, we go down. We don't want to use a font here because we're going to get a broken heart anyways. That heart we don't have will be filled with the broken heart. A battery with nothing in it. How delightful. We know where we're going here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I believe that's a pretty good trinket right there. Might be better than what we've got now. I think it's 0.4 damage and chance to get sacked dagger on dam- on 0.3 damage. It's not a lot of damage, honestly. It's not a lot. Wait. Okay. Our- our tinted rock damage is still decaying from the previous floors. I didn't realize it lasted so long. I thought if you went to the next floor, it'd just instantly decay. It's very good to know that last three floors. Making our damage a lot higher than it was otherwise. Yeah, this is an absolute breeze for good old C-section now. Ain't nothing stopping us. There you go. Tinted rock there as well. Please remove my broken heart, please. It did not remove our broken heart, but we did get a small rock. Not bad, not bad. I almost accidentally used the soul of Lazarus there. So unfortunately, we aren't going to be um, getting our broken heart removed this floor. So it means we are, it is catching up with us a little bit. Still don't know what that Sinister Sight thing ended up doing for us. I mean, it seems, it seems not bad at all. I don't really know exactly what it does. It's crazy how much we rely on EID nowadays. <laughs> um, Don't actually know where the boss is here. I'm going to check up first, because that's the furthest distance away, I think. But I think it's down. 
with the Tinted Rock there. Hey, we removed a Broken Heart there. That's good to see. And we're keeping that damage going. I mean, look at the amount of damage that we're at so far, just from the, the few Broken Hearts we've... A uh, few Tinted Rocks we've destroyed. It's very, very high. Clearly works quite well. It could also be through that big room, but I doubt it. I think it's down and to the right. Luminary Flare's doing some real work right now. Yes, indeed it was. We didn't unfortunately get two tinted rocks, but one's enough for now. And I don't think we'll skip the last phase here, but we'll do good damage regardless. I mean, it's Parasitoid that's really carrying us further. Oh, we did skip the last phase. Nice. Yeah, Parasitoid just, just carries it that extra, mwah, extra bit. Our damage right now is just ludicrous too, so. We got ourselves a spin down, which is kind of interesting. Um. Attractive bombs. Don't know what that means. I'll take it. I'm going to just spin this down into this. Orbital familiar that rerolls to... Yeah, I like that. It's, it's one of those things where it's probably bad for us because it's going to reroll things out of being C-section tiers. But um, at this point, do we care? We've, we're clearly on to a winner here. It just means more wacky tier effects to play around with, which is fun. Ooh, there's a lot of these guys in here. Like six of them. We don't have great speed either. Okay, we know where the boss is. It's pretty obvious by the map. Goddamn, mapping is just the best thing ever. Do you know, is it, is it the mind that gives you full mapping? The mind really should make you immune to Curse of the Blind, so you always have mapping. I don't know if it does already. I don't think it does, though, from what I remember. Is that like a meteor in the sky there? What's, what's going on up there with this, this big old tier? Pretty sure that was a soul heart there. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, a tinted rock in here. This black rock. That it is. Extra HP is very nice. Remove broken hearts and damage to boot as well. Beautiful stuff. I think we're I think we're golden here. I think we're absolutely golden. Don't think there's much good that could stop us now. We're having such a good time. We're having a ball. Beautiful stuff. I mean, we could do delirium. I mean, it's a streak, but why the hell not? Like, this is a a, a stupendously bad idea. But why the hell not? I told you, I am not not taking risks on a streak. Until we get late game, I'll, I'll play safer. I'm not saying I won't take no risk. I'm still going to take some risks. I don't want the series to just not be enjoyable. But my theory with this is, for one, why not? It's just extra extra content. Two, with this, like, with this tinted rock thing we've got going on here, we might actually be able to... Uh, Rack up quite a hefty bit of damage. Like, there's so many rooms with rocks that we should get quite a few tinted rocks, I think. Just keep our eyes peeled for them as all. Well. The hell are those enemies? No boss rooms there. Like, there's some spicy keys there, I don't want that. As long as we keep our eyes peeled for the tinted rocks, we should find a few, I think. A card in here somewhere. None thus far, though. None thus far. There's our first boss. We'll see if it ends up being Delirium. Of 
course it is. Of course, I mean, we should be completely fine here. But, of course, it's Delirium straight off the bat. Ow. Did he just butt bomb me? I think he did. I did try to bomb him there, but didn't really work in our favor. There you go. That bomb should hit him. I mean, he's already halfway dead. I mean, this is insane. Where'd those ghosts come from? Things happening I don't quite understand. I don't think I ever really will. <laughs> oh, all the extra money, why not? Why not some extra coinage? Oh, because we got Curse of Darkness, we've got Piercing as well from the arrow item. I was wondering why our tears were arrows this time around. Beautiful stuff. There you go. Well, that was that was pretty simple. Pretty shrimple. Pretty easy. Hope you guys did enjoy a Delirium win on the streak. I mean, pretty insane run, all in all. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys in the next one.